Now, when we first set up the bank feeds practice file, they have set it up in the business view. And you can tell by the information on the left-hand side, the icons on the left-hand side. The business view is what I would call like a less professional language type of view, but it might work better also on some machines. So it might work better if you're like opening it up on a phone or something other than a standard uh, type of computer. So you might practice with that as well. The accountant view, where if you hit the cog drop down, you could switch to the accountant view is the more classical type of view and it has more professional kind of language. So let's go over that really quickly here. You've got the get things done page instead of the home page. You've got the business overview, banking, get paid and paid area. That's kind of like the customer center or you might call it the sales area or expenses center uh, or vendor area. So get paid. So that's what I mean by the less professional kind of language, more common or relaxed language, I guess. Uh, customers and leads, commerce, payroll, and then you've got the bookkeeping, whereas the other view might use like accounting or something like that, taxes and so on. Let's switch it over to the accountant view to look at the difference. I'm gonna to go to the cog drop down, switch it to the accountant view. This is the view that I've worked with most often, I'm more comfortable with. So this is gonna be my default view, but then I'll go back and forth to the sample company so that we can see the business view. So I'm gonna to try to keep it in the accountant view and then see where different things are located by jumping over to the sample company from time to time to see the different views. So now it's called the dashboard, which is kind of a little bit more professional possibly than, and then banking, sales, uh, rather than get paid area and customers flow, cash flows, expenses, instead of the pay area, get pay and pay area. And then you've got like the accounting down below. Note that this has kind of more of a, a drop, like a similar to a drop down, a drop to the side or open to the side kind of view which works well if you're on a PC. I, I've seen it, it works great for me, but if you're in like an app or something like that, maybe the other view has some advantages to working like on a phone or a tablet that, that, uh, that you might want to experiment with if you're using different kinds of devices. But the bottom line is that everything should be able to be found in both of these views. It's just housed in a different way. Those differences mainly being in the groupings on the left bar over here, which we'll try to go into as we go into some of the information. Now, just a quick overview of how, how to navigate around here, uh, and then we'll dive into the chart of accounts. The middle area is where the display area is. So when you're selecting where to go, it's usually gonna be on the left-hand side or up here, uh, generally like in the cog. So if you're entering normal day-to-day -day transactions, oftentimes you can hit the new button they're grouped by customers by cycle, I would say customer, vendor and employee and then other. These are the, where the normal forms are located that actually create the financial statements that generate the end result of, uh, of the financial statements. They, they create the transactions that result in the financial statements. And then when you're trying to deal with uh, customers and whatnot and vendors and employees, we can search those by centers over here. So what, if I'm dealing with with customers, I'll typically go into this area, which I would call like the customer center, has our sales cycle related stuff. This area down here for the expenses helps us deal with vendors who we buy stuff from, uh, has, has purchasing related stuff, and obviously we have the payroll related stuff, and then the accounting has some of our chart of accounts and things like that. Up top in the cog, we have some of our setup process. So if I wanted to go into the account and settings, then this would uh, go into basically our, our overall settings that we can review those items. If I wanted to add users and so on, it would be in here. And then if I wanted to go into my lists, these are my underlying kind of lists. The main two lists we think of are products and services and the chart of accounts. Although you can get into those by going to other locations than in here. So just uh, be aware of that. You're probably not going to go into the cog and lists all the time to find the chart of accounts uh, or the products and services. But classically, they've been called lists uh, as kind of a legacy from the desktop view where they were located under a drop down under lists. Now, if you were in the in the business view, then you're going to have uh, the get paid and paid area has kind of like the customer cycle and the vendor cycle kind of grouped together. And then when you want to get into 
the uh, chart of accounts, it's gonna be under the bookkeeping and then the chart of accounts. So this is where we're gonna work on here. There's your chart of accounts. That's what we're gonna go now.